Well, on this very busy election night, we're going to make a, take a moment to share some very sad news mm -hmm. with you. That's right. Well, this afternoon, we learned that our beloved colleague, KCAL News at 10 anchor Chauncey Glover, passed away. As you might imagine, the news left us all stunned and grieving. All of us going to miss him so much. Chauncey had only been here a year, but he left his mark on this newsroom and the Southern California community. And thanks for joining us, friends. I'm Chauncey Glover. L.A. has always had a special place in my heart. I visit here several times a year. Love the weather, love the beach. Chauncey Glover was more than just a local news anchor. He was a devoted community leader with the heart of doing what it takes to make our communities a better place to live. In a perfect world, what happens next? Yeah. And now this is a perfect segue to our newest mm -hmm. member of the KCAL team, Chauncey Glover. Chauncey joined KCAL News just over a year ago bringing us inspiring stories, including one about two brothers from South LA who found redemption and a new life through letters in prison. You didn't even know what an email was. No, my brother actually taught me how to set up an email, how to manage an email. He taught me a lot about how to use phones and anything I needed to know, he pretty much brought me up to speed. Chauncey's love for journalism began at a young age while growing up in the small town of Athens, Alabama. And I knew it was something I always wanted to do. My dad built me a little anchor desk when I was five years old. And every Sunday after church, I would do my little newscasts. But I've always been interested in, in reading and writing and telling stories and keeping people uh, informed. So I knew this was um, something I wanted to do early on. And it's a passion. And at one point, I was like, I get paid to do this. This is, this is pretty cool. Chauncey's passion for others went outside the newsroom with his foundation, the Chauncey Glover Project. So blessed to be here in Los Angeles. I'm originally from Alabama, country mm -hmm. boy. I just moved here after spending eight years there in Houston, but it was in Detroit, a story I'll never forget. Um, breaking news, a young man had robbed a basketball coach, shot him. I watched that young man die on the streets of Detroit, and I was compelled to go back to that high school, oh. and I started the Chauncey Glover Project a few months later, which is a hands-on nonprofit uh, where we mentor young boys of color and the inner city mm -hmm. um, I am so proud this has been my life's purpose and work and uh, to date we've sent more than 350 boys of color to college and we've mentored more than 1,000 and I'm looking forward to possibly one day bringing it here to Los Angeles because uh, as I do the research and I talk to the folks out in the community uh, it is there's certainly need. needed there's yeah. a big need Chauncey was a bright light in our newsroom with his big smile and uplifting spirit you're the reason why I have to do so much cardio because I I love the sweet potato. I've talked, talked about this. I love the sweet potato pie. Chauncey's time with us was short, but his impact and effect on our hearts is everlasting. Chauncey's family shared a statement with us tonight, and we're going to share it with you. We, Sherry and Robert Glover, along with Chauncey's beloved family, are devastated by the unimaginable loss of our beloved Chauncey. He was more than a son and brother. He was a beacon of light in our lives and a true hero to his community. Chauncey's compassion and dedication to helping others, especially through the Chauncey Glover Project, changed countless lives and inspired so many young men to pursue their dreams. His talent, warmth, and vision left an imprint on everyone who knew him, and the world is dimmer without him. While we grieve this profound loss, we are com comforted by the outpouring of love and memories shared by those who knew Chauncey as the passionate, gifted soul he was. We kindly ask for privacy as we mourn and honor his incredible legacy. He was taken from us too soon, far too soon, but his impact will be felt forever. Mm -hmm. um, Danny, yeah. Danny, you came in with Chauncey mm -hmm. at about the same time. Mm -hmm. So um, about a year ago. you are two youngest members of this team. You're also yeah. a young lady of faith, and so was Chauncey. Mm -hmm. And this is an especially difficult day for us 
here at KCAL, and I know it is for you. We've been talking all morning long and, and praying, so just know our hearts are very, very heavy, yeah. but you know, it's... Yeah. Go ahead, Danny. Um, he just had, you guys know, he had this yeah. way of making people feel so loved and so special. Mm -hmm. Like, he walks in the room and you could just feel his heart. <laughs> and um, I love when he laughed. He had such a wonderful laugh. And Pat, as you mentioned, he is a man of faith. Yes. And I remember he would come over to me and he'd grab my hands and he would just start praying over our city and over our coworkers. And you called him Chauncey Bear. I called him Chauncey Bear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I and he'll think, always be my Chauncey Bear. And I think that just goes to show how close we got in such a short period yeah. of time. Yes. You know, we worked together up here on this anchor desk, you know, yeah. Monday through Friday, day in and day out. And it's been we, more fun. Yeah, sure. Yeah. We experienced so much together. Yeah. 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 And um, he loved calling me Auntie Pat. He did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I loved sometimes at the end of the 11, we'd be so delirious. Who knows what was going to happen at the end of the show? And we would just be laughing our butts off. And it was. <laughs> you know what I was it is? waiting for that little, okay. Exactly. What, what are you going to say? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when Chauncey laughs, it's not just a laugh, a yeah. little, you know, giggle. Oh, no. It's, you know, he walks and runs across the room yeah, laughing, does. right? And oh, it makes Chauncey. everybody yes. else yes. laugh around them. And that's the joy yeah. of Chauncey Glover. And he will mm -hmm. be missed so much by all of us here at KCAL.